que si hablamos del asunto. ¿Qué asunto? El nuevo trabajo de mamá. Es hora de corregir algunos errores. Ayudadme a recuperar a los superhéroes. Mi pregunta es si la tecnología ha evolucionado mucho. ¿Hay algo que querías hacer en la primera que no pudieras por causa de la tecnología que ahora puedes y estoy seguro de hacerlo? No hubo demasiado. Lo hicimos. Lo hicimos solo con gran dificultad y dolor. And uh, we were on the edge of failing every moment. Um, the only thing that I wanted uh, that we didn't get in the first movie is Jack-Jack uh, uh, turns gooey at some point in this movie. And, and I remember bugging John uh, uh, about, we got to have Jack-Jack turn goo. And, and he was like, you're getting everything else, but you got to let go of goo. <laughs> So, you can have uh, goo, or the movie can come out when it's supposed to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, on the first movie, we had uh, a basically a long laundry list of everything that computer animation was bad at. It was bad at humans, it was bad at uh, fabric, it was bad at hair, it was bad at water and fire. And we were on, and that's all our film was. We didn't have any furry little animals or, or uh, uh, you know, toys. bugs Round or toys. toys. <laughs> um, we just had everything that computers were bad at. So we were barely able to accomplish the first movie, and now we're much uh, better at it. So um, a lot less pain. Uh, was involved in the technical part about it. Um, there was still plenty of pain to ha ha uh, go around <laughs> on the story and on keeping it uh, on schedule because we had a year taken off of our schedule and we had to move quickly. So um, it was just as hard, but maybe not uh, scary in the same way. The first, the first Incredibles was the first Pixar movie with an all human cast, right? It was, uh, mm -hmm. and that, we'd never done that before. And, and you know, that was a, was a challenge. Yeah, and all the hair and cloth <laughs> yeah. that came along with that. Well, in my opinion, uh, Dory and Edna Mode are the two best supporting characters uh, Pixar has made. I <laughs> would love to see more of her. Was there any, uh, at any time on the table to make like a TV show like uh, yeah, yeah. with Disney Dory which is going to be Edna and Dory have their own <laughs> oh, underwater oh, it's like a really good talk yeah, yeah. show but since yeah. Disney is going to have a streaming service I, I would love to see like a Queer Eye but uh, starring Edna Mode with <laughs> maybe <laughs> real real people like the, like the TV spots that came out I, I would love to see anything yeah. about Edna have you thought about it? Uh, not when I was sane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she'd never agree to it. Yeah. Would never agree to it. yeah. She's very difficult. Yeah. I think uh, we've coerced her enough. She's gonna. She's had enough of us for a while. Focusing on the superhero uh, stuff of the movie. In the first one, we learned that maybe superheroes shouldn't wear capes. In this one, <laughs> uh, you said that you didn't want to have uh, triple landings because they were so mainstream in the in the genre. So, yes. uh, was there an, anything that uh, you wanted? You made sure to have in the in all the superheroes, not only the parts, uh, to keep them unique in, in this. Um, movie business yeah I, yeah there's way too many uh, superheroes you know I was worried that um, you know we had too many superheroes uh, two or three years ago and when I was starting this movie and I was thinking that you know just when everybody's sick of superheroes then I'm here like anybody hungry for some superheroes <laughs> huh you know and I didn't fresh out that. of the oven yeah fresh <laughs> out of the oven you know cakes and uh, uh, you know so there it, it, it kind of made me feel like uh, uh, insecure for a moment but uh, I, I think that then I remembered what interested me about the idea in the first place was uh, that it was really uh, using superhero genre to comment on family. 
and um, the certain sections of our life. And when we're insecure teenagers, when we're 10 years old and have energy to burn, you know, um, that's more what our wheelhouse is and, and where we do best. And the minute I realized it's really a movie about family, then family is a subject that's, that's uh, uh, you know, vast. And there's plenty to explore about families. Another thing I think that makes them a unique and incredible in the Incredibles world is that these supers balance things that are super and things that are mundane. And all of them have that kind of balance where you know they can be very heroic and then some human thing you know happens to them the next moment and vice versa. And I think that what's, that's what makes them charming and relatable to people. Well, my last question is, since you're part of the Pixar family or close to them, I'd like to know what do you expect about this new age that we are that, that it's going to to start at the end of the year. And if you have like a uh, favorite to be the, the head of the uh, studio since John Lasseter stepping out? Hmm. Well, I mean, we've kind of already been in this, you know, John's been gone since November mm -hmm. and we have so many talented people at the studio um, who've kind of drawn together to move forward. Um, so I, I don't think that there's one person who necessarily is going to, to, to lead us, you know, into the future necessarily. Mm -hmm. I know I think that, that everyone is going to continue to make the movies the way they've been making them. And we all circle around one another to help make those movies. Yeah. And it's, I, think, I think it's going to work. I think that's going to work. It's a team sport. Mm -hmm. And people always say, you know, uh, when we're in the middle of it, because these things are always like everything's on fire and you're just kind of <laughs> running around trying to make it work, they say, trust the system. And uh, I think that we're in that phase now where we trust the system. There's a system in place where people, uh, where artists look over each other's shoulders and kind of offer fresh eyes. Uh, you know, and uh, we're going to continue doing that. Rapta pantalla cinta cumpesta emisión para dar un comunicado importante. Prepárate, podría empeorar. Voy a toda pastilla. ¿A dónde vas? A toda pastilla. Espero que vuelvas a toda pastilla también.